They finally did it. After years and years of asking, they finally added it. It had to get its own video. I know I don't normally do these, like, here's what they added in iOS 13.2 beta 2. That kind of thing. I usually don't do that on this channel, but this one has something I've wanted for so long. It's gonna get its own freaking video. Play the intro. Mm. All is right with the universe. Everything has been perfected. iOS 13 is now my favorite operating system upgrade of all time because as of this latest beta, they have now added the ability to change the video frame rate and resolution from within the camera app. Apple has peaked, uh, literally. I mean, look at their stock price. They're at an all-time high as soon as they added this feature. Some may say they're completely unrelated, but I call BS on that. These are completely related as soon as they added camera resolution and frame rate options within in that camera app, stocks soared. Everyone was happy, and they don't need to make anymore. Okay, we're all done. iOS 14, scrap it. Just throw it all out. I don't care about your, like, rearrange home screen wishes, or being able to close all apps, or having the phone call not take up the whole screen in a really annoying way, and just making it a drop-down menu. Screw all that, we're happy now. We have iOS 13, and I will be eternally grateful. However, there is always bad news with every bit of good news. The bad news is, at this time, it appears that you can can only change the resolution and frame rate only on the latest iPhones that just came out, which we all know they totally could have added that option to previous generation iPhones. I don't know if they think that's going to be a big enough feature for people to warrant an upgrade, but I'd consider it. If I were you, if you were rocking an iPhone 10 right now and you're like, nah, I don't need the 11 or the 11 Pro, but you want to be able to change the resolution and frame rates from within the app, yeah, go ahead, spend another grand. I think it's worth it. Not that it's really something we do all that often. I mean, I just leave it at 4k at 60 all the time but it was still stupid that it was outside of the camera app to change but that's not the only thing i wanted to talk about today the other thing that we saw hidden within ios 13.2 beta 2 is this new indicator within the volume pop-up whenever you haptic touch on volume there's this new slider animation hidden within beta 2 that's going to showcase how airpods users specifically the new airpods users once those new airpods drop will be able to change the noise cancellation feature which does confirm that there will be some form of active noise cancellation on these next generation headphones or maybe perhaps not active noise cancellation but basically what that little slider under the volume will allow you to do is decide how much background audio you want to still be listening to so perhaps if you're buying these new generation airpods which are going to be a lot better at blocking out external audio let's say you want the option to hear external audio maybe hear it better than your ears can actually pick it up then you'll be able to slide it over to the side and pick up up your surroundings in case you're running or you're in a place where you don't want to have audio blocked out but basically it will be an option embedded within control center settings and if we needed more leaks to confirm that new airpods are coming soon well here they are which once again kind of encourages the idea that there's going to be an october event most likely on the 29th which is a tuesday and if you're thinking well we haven't got any invites for the event yet so it may not happen keep in mind for the october event last year the invites went out 12 days before the event actually happened. So less than two weeks before the announcement of the keynote happening at all, which in our timeline, in this case, that means that we probably won't get invites to this event if there is one until the 16th, 17th kind of time frame. Who knows? Apple may just decide to announce it earlier to try to not screw up with the other tech companies that are having events at the end of the month. Remember that brutal OnePlus moment last year? But yeah, that's apparently how it's going to work with the next generation headphones. They also added the option for you to delete apps via a haptic touch on the apps on the home screen, which makes far more sense to me. And before you all think I'm gonna go into the breakdown of every single change they made in iOS 13.2 beta 2, yeah, no, that ain't happening. At the same time, I wanna stay a little bit optimistic. Like, it would be cool that since this is in beta, the frame rate and resolution options are only available on the newest iPhones. But maybe once it's a public release, they'll add this option to all the iPhones, even the iPhone 6S, which can record 4K and 1080, and you can switch between those. Maybe on 13.2, Two, once it's a public, they'll let us do it, but most likely not. If this is the way they're letting us use it within the betas, that's more than likely how it's going to be an official release, which definitely sucks. But hey, there's three phones that can now change the resolution and frame rate within the app that couldn't do it before, so I'll take what I can get. Luckily, I use those phones. If you don't, I do apologize. That sucks. Apple's being really mean about that. I don't think it's going to really convince that many people to buy a new iPhone, and that's the thought process.
process here, but anyway, I'm just happy they finally added it, and I'm happy that there's gonna be the option to turn on and off noise cancellation and let it be a little bit of a slider, not so much a switch, so you can let in a little bit of background audio or take out background audio when you have these new generation AirPods Pro or whatever they end up calling them. Probably something stupid and they're gonna look weird. I've seen all these renders of how they're gonna look and I just hope they're wrong. I hope they look a bit more natural and honestly, as long as they have more color options and a matte finish, I'll be fine even if they look weird. I'm sure we'll get used to it. May I remind you how weird we all thought the first generation AirPods looked. I remember the day they announced those, there were memes like nonstop and everyone was talking about how stupid Apple was and how Steve Jobs would hate this and Steve Jobs would be embarrassed by Apple and yet AirPods grew to be one of the most popular wireless headphones on the planet. So it all just takes time to adjust to. Either way, I'll be getting them just to review and try. So let me know what you guys think of today's leaks and today's additions to iOS 13, which has now made this version of iOS my favorite one ever because they finally added something that we've been asking for since like the dawn of man. Let me know what you're thinking by hitting me up over on Twitter or joining our Discord. This is your Apple Sheep here. I will see you guys in the next one.